one last time. <laughs> oh, we got one. Yeah, we have. Um, Ross, are you here for an application that we're covering tonight? That is the developer of the big air blocks. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, perfect. The Thomas Road stuff? Yes. Okay. Ron, if you're talking, I can't hear you. Oh, we're back to the regular screen, too. Well, uh, I know I can hear Gary, so. Yeah, it looks like he's unmuted. Yeah. All right. Um, so we'll uh, play it by ear. Stand for the pledge. Mm -hmm. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ron just left, so maybe he'll try to reconnect. Yeah, that's 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 all good. Yeah. Sometimes um, that's what I had to do with the Zoom. I don't know why, but yeah, sometimes Zoom Zoom is just especially if it's a work computer. I know there's certain things that companies do to make it weird. And there are certain settings in here, but I know I can I could hear Gary, so I, yeah. I think I think we should be okay. Um pleasure allegiance, maybe that's your best, maybe. Approval of the minutes. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes? Uh, I will move to approve the minutes. A second. All in favor? Bye. Aye. 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 <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Privilege of the floor. Um, does anybody want to speak privilege of the floor? No. 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 Uh, report from the development office. Um, Chris, Kristen Smith um, resigned. Mm -hmm. She was one of the zoning officers. She mm -hmm. uh, she got an offer she couldn't resist from an old job. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, uh, so they will be looking for uh, another zoning officer. Mm -hmm. Mike is on vacation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and has more work now. <laughs> yeah. So does Sarah. <laughs> um, but, uh, and I, I may be helping out in there. Okay. Uh, so... Um, if I do help out with any applications, I would probably have to like recuse myself from any comments here. So, okay. um, so we, we shall see. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's what's going on there. I believe they're adding another code enforcement officer. Who is the young fellow who's back there now with Mike Murphy? I've seen him, but I haven't met him yet. Kyle Fenner? Kyle. So he was out in uh, Geneva. Mm -hmm. so, so was Mike at one point. So mm -hmm. They both came here. Okay, I haven't really spoken to him. I like I like Kyle. He's really nice. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Let's development referrals from the town board. We don't have any that I know of. So hopefully they would tell me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ron, do you want to try saying something now? Can you type to him or something? Can you type a message to him? No, nope, sure. you didn't know. Try ask mute. He just chatted that his microphone is not working. Oh, oh okay. Okay. All right. Well, um, when we get to that, if he wants to chat, um, I do have the captions turned on, so, um, or I can bring up the the um, chat window, so I can do one of those things. So, and you said that was the 
Mr. Rowe? No, he's the developer of the Thomas Road lot. Thomas Road. Okay. But so on the corner there of Thomas and Brookhill. Okay. I don't think we had a lot the last it's just, we've seen it a couple times, right? This is just the formal. Yeah, they wanted us to they had to do a site plan for each lot. Yeah. We didn't yeah. have a lot the last couple of times. Yeah. No, but that's that was like okay. what was required. So uh, that's why it's like six things. But just because all... it's near the wetlands over there. I, didn't, right? I, I think... don't even know why. Yeah, really. it was weird. Or the gas line. Or, I don't know. Oh, there is a gas line over there. There is I a don't... gas line, but I don't they know. They reached out to the um... There was some kind of report. I don't I don't really know why we're seeing this. Yeah, or oh maybe it was because it's egg was eggland. Do we get references for that too? Possibly. Now? Okay. Possibly. <laughs> I was just making sure that wasn't good. Oh. <laughs> it was kind of timely. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. Um, let's see. Town board, none that I know of. Um, ordinance committee. Let's see. Uh, I believe uh, they're going to talk about our split lot thing. Hmm. There's some um, code updates coming through the um, code enforcement officer that they're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. I think they're still talking about cannabis, um, like cannabis dispensaries. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Is there some going on going to be put in the town or? Um, they have somebody asking okay. for the code to be updated. Oh, okay. um, I didn't from the last meeting, I didn't think they were going to talk about it anymore. But I guess they are still. So, mm. uh, let's see. There's one other thing. I think it was going to be about events in the park, the parks, whether they can have alcohol, and um, it was about like food vendors and stuff like that. So, I'm not exactly sure mm. what they were going to talk about, but uh, I. That was going to be another one of the items on the agenda. Mm. Okay, so uh, that's what we got from there. And uh, let's see, the planning board. Uh, uh, just just to close the loop on um, the landscaping project that we talked about last time. Yes. So <laughs> I did find that there was a couple of discrepancies in between what they had drawn on the plan and what they had in the planning mm -hmm. schedule. So they were going to fix those and the planning board approved it with the condition that we suggested that mm -hmm. they have some inspections over the next number of years. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's what we suggested. They were talking about possibly doing a landscape surety. And then the homeowner said it was going to be forty to $45,000 of landscaping. So um, they, they decided on the inspection. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's so, a lot. That's a lot of that, investment. That is a lot of investment. So, yeah. uh, so that's what was going on there. So um, I know there was concerns about um, follow-up and uh, some sort of monitoring on that. So hopefully that will, we may have to remember that those inspections need to occur because I don't think there's like any calendar. Yeah, what, what will that fall under for? What we'd for, have to probably do is- uh, It's kind of, is that new or? It's, it's not something- that, It's like when people put in rain guards and they're in, but then oh, they I let wish, them go. Yeah, we don't go and inspect them. But this was yeah. a condition of uh, approval from okay. the planning board, so it's something that the um, so code officer will have to go there to check it out yeah. periodically. Okay. Yeah. And so they did the um, one year, three year, and five that we had suggested. Mm -hmm. So it almost falls in line with um, <clears throat> the conservation easements, kind of, or something along those lines, where just to make sure nothing's being developed, nothing. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what um, went on with that. So I uh, it was uh, much they were much different at this planning board than the than the previous ones. So we got a lot at our meeting. <laughs> so 
I, I did want to share that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we were up to the Thomas Road. So oh. I oh Brennan's on. Oh good. Good. Okay. Brennan, would you like to introduce the project? Uh yes, thank you. Um so what it is is a, it's a previously approved subdivision. So the six lots have already been approved by the town and it's been subdivided. Now we're just doing applications for six um, single family houses, uh, just basically a single family house on, you know, for each lot. Um, with that, we've got septic systems. Uh, we got a connection to the water service of the road, uh, obviously driveway and electric, uh, some grading. Um, the uh, big difference here is that, you know, the, the big thing that's about the site is it's got a, uh, that Buckeye pipeline that goes diagonal across the main site. So um, we use that site, or that we stay out of that easement for that pipeline uh, with our septics in our houses uh, and just basically avoid that area. So it's currently a uh, farmland right now. Uh, it's uh, not a well producing farmland, but it's an ag property. Um, it's, it's pretty tough ground. Um, all the systems, the septic systems are shallow modified, which means they got to import fill material for them to put them in because it this is the, the perk of the soil depth isn't as good as it needs to be for a standard system. So like I said, not prime farmland. Uh, and yeah, so there it is. Do you know what farmer is farming that? Because I know the Ag Committee will also be reviewing this one, and they will ask that question. Yeah, maybe Ron knows, but I don't. Uh, I think Ron is on this call. He was having trouble with his mic, so I, I'm not sure he'll be able to share that. Oh, uh, well, maybe he can text me it really quick or something, but, or put it in the message, but I, I don't know. No, I don't. Okay, if if you want to like message us on the application, that would be fine too. It, I don't need to know that, but I, I know the Ag Committee will ask that, so. <laughs> okay, good, thank you. Um, is this all clear or there, I didn't get a chance to visit the, the site. Is there trees on this at all or? Uh, site's mostly, uh, mostly farmland, mostly vacant. Uh, okay. There's a there's a some hedgerow and brush on the south side of most of that's on most of the hedgerow or most of the brush and everything that is on the uh, lot seven which is remained undeveloped this time. Okay, I can pull that up. Oh, Ron there. just texted me. Ron just texted me. He says it hasn't been farmed in a couple of years, so he doesn't know okay. who the previous farmer was. Okay. Yeah, I think it's getting a little scrubby too. <laughs> yeah. Um, what did you say? Encore. Oh, okay. If you want to see what it looks like, you know, it's, it's a it's a field. <laughs> yeah, there's an unfarmed field out. right now. I'm sure it's got all the invasives growing in it. So. Oh, probably. Oops, no, I didn't want that. Yeah, and I guess the, the pipeline is all the placards and stuff are out there still. And I mean, that's going to be avoided. So, um, do they still have all their staking out there for the pipeline or? We're actually coordinating that right now, uh, them to restake it um, to verify exact location because they have some restrictions on the what we can do outside of the easement area too for like a buffer area. So oh, we're okay. coordinating that through with the Buckeye right now. Okay. We've been in contact with them. Good. Yeah, because I think it's a larger distribution line that runs through that area. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. High pressure. Yeah. High pressure fuel. Did you still want encore? I can bring that one up too. No, that's it. Yeah. Because yeah. you were wondering what was out there. Yeah, I think it's just the edge of that field there is that one lot that might be getting into it, but I don't know. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, I don't I don't think it's anything of high value. Mm -mm. I mean, most of it from this looks like it's grown up from an old field anyways. Sweet. 
do you have the deed? No, this is pretty straightforward when we saw it before. Yeah, I was kind of wondering, you know, maybe because the ant has to comment, maybe that's why we're seeing it, but. Yeah, I don't think it was in the strategic farm area, was it? Was a... but we don't have that map in here. It's some, oh. It disappeared at some point, <laughs> so. Um, what room does egg go in when they do their meetings? This one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody needed to fire away. <laughs> I'm the, I'm the secretary for that one, so I, I know the <laughs> questions they ask, so that's why I asked about the um, farming of it, so I can share that information, and so that kind of kind of helps answer that for them. And if it was poor performing, that they like to know that sort of information no. too. Um, yeah. We like to suggest uh, native plants and trees for landscaping and dark sky compliant lighting. Uh, so that's some of the things that we suggest for some of these ones that are pretty simple. Okay, yeah, I think we have a note on there about dark sky compliant lighting for sure. Mm -hmm. That's a standard note we put on all the plants. I don't think we have a landscaping plan for this project. Oh, and I'll have to. This something to, to communicate along, you know, if if you can, cool. If you can't, hopefully it's uh, something that's done when these are put in. The planning board would have to like want to see things, say they wanted to see something, I would assume. They usually uh, do sorry. ask about landscaping, so it, it does help. Um, they will ask sometimes about NRA features on the maps. I didn't see any on the maps, so the site plans. So um, sometimes they do ask about that as well. Yeah. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I don't think we had any NRA. Um, no, I don't think we had any NRA on this project. So, mm -hmm. so just. Just things I know they I, I'm usually at the planning board meetings too, so <laughs> I hear the questions. <laughs> right. Um, I guess that's about it. And um, we will give our suggestions along to the planning board. And uh, I guess that's about it. Mm -hmm. Unless you had any questions for us. I'm sorry, I keep waiting for <laughs> him, but he can't talk. No, I just wanted to make sure everything was, you know, as the, the Model Conservation Board, Conservation Board looked at it, that everything was going to be okay, uh, in their yeah. opinion. So that was our biggest thing. thing. And I know that the board, Planning Board considers your comments uh, very well. I mean, they they uphold most everything you say. So we wanted to make sure that there was no problem. So. So what uh, what do you envision the homes uh, will sell for? <laughs> I wish Ron could talk right now. He'll probably text okay. me in like a few seconds here. But uh, obviously, I would say in a middle income family, but oh, he says 600. Um, oh. But I, I guess that is, is the new middle income, I guess. I don't know. You oh. know, it's, it's hard to tell what that is anymore. Okay. Yeah, prices are up there. Do you have any other uh, comments, Gary? No, no, no concerns here. Well, thank you very much for uh, attending, and uh, we will pass along our comments to the planning board. And uh, wish you luck on your project. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you. you thank too. you. Yeah, like sometimes this uh, map through. That's through cloud. That's through cloud. Oh. <laughs> it's not bad. It shows that it is a different season. Yes. So sometimes you can see, you know, like you can see some gaps in the trees here that you wouldn't maybe see on Encore and stuff. Yeah. Or like this, you might not, you may or may not see that on Encore, but it's definitely obvious here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
cuts through a whole lot of it. <laughs> yes. That, that's why I wanted to send a note when I sent this out. I'm like, it's going to look like this. We'll be here till midnight. But yeah. not really. I saw the 10. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> then I went through them. I was like, oh, God. Yeah. We've already done this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, next one we have is Foster Road. Mm -hmm. um, well, it was already subdivided and approved. Okay. And Gerber Homes purchased the property and they are going to develop the lots. So that's what this is. And unlike our last one, this is one plan for seven homes. Yes. If I remember. Um, yes. It's all on one. Was this all part of the other development around there? Or they just took it over or? They just they just took the project. Okay. Yeah. So it's the same, it's the same sub, they're on a private road. Mm -hmm. And um there's because there's two that front actually front Foster Road. Uh, and then the remainder. Those are on the private uh, side. Private. You can have three on a private. Yeah. There's a couple more lots, isn't there? The last time we looked at this. Well. There were two that they already had, Gary. Okay. And then they bought the remainder of the project. Okay. So this one shows all the lots that they presently own, mm -hmm. and showing how they're gonna to propose to develop them. Okay. And there's only three here, so it doesn't get into the no. real road thing. No. Right. So. Right. Yeah. They've got their, got their turnaround there. There's way in the back as, as a go way back. Yeah, as I said, everything's a far enough away from the steep yeah. slope stuff. Yeah. yeah, they were going to, it looked like one of the maps. Do you have a subdivision with this one too, or is it just is there still a site? I don't know. Because they first subdivided two lots and then the remaining of the land got subdivided. Okay, lot lot two was the one that was along the, the gully. There was earlier. there were two with the road that were initially subdivided. Yeah. And then along came the rest of them. But they're all owned by Gerber. Yeah. 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 So I can't see any of the details on these things at this distance. My eyes aren't that good. <laughs> you have to zoom in, maybe. Yeah. Um, but I know they had a lot to look like it wasn't any part of like the housing. And then that one's up alongside the, the gully. And uh, yeah, this doesn't fall under HOAs or anything either, no, right? The way the private, layout is. So. Houses on a private, no yeah. HOAs. Yeah. Um, Hello? Good in yourself. Yeah, another one. I don't. I didn't see a lot on it. I'm on outside of staying out of the gully and everything. No, they're they're pulling everything away from it. Uh, I, yeah, you can come in tomorrow. We've got their turnaround at the end of the private road. Mm -hmm. They've got that light in. There's no water room. and sewer is out there. Okay. It's, it's available. There's no random extensions to any of the driveways or anything for what no, else it's might come. one that's pretty straightforward. And of course, the Notre Dame property is across the road. Okay. Yeah, was there any variances on this one? Don't believe yeah, I don't think there was. Unless it was a width. Was it one of the. I don't know if there was like a width length thing on this one or not. Once upon a time, I'm not certain. But not anymore. That's okay. Son's boss cover. Okay. Okay. Is a better answer. <laughs> so, 
it looked like the housing was staying away from yeah um, any of the the steeper slope mm -hmm. area. Did you have any comments on this one? No, I mean there was no variances, correct? I mean that's what you're discussing for any of the lots uh, or anything. This I mean, it's just another farm field, right? That was basically being converted over. I used to be, uh, there used to be a, a boat storage barn on oh. it once, and then that yeah, got, you know, taken down in, in order to. I'm trying to remember because we and... farmed down there when I was a kid, my grandfather did, and I'm trying to figure out what little spot. Hmm. There was a couple fields well, down we there. Uh, site plan subdivision. So yeah. I think it was the subdivision that I was looking at. There was a map there. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it helps when like Mike is here. You can like because they're more familiar with the ins and outs of all these projects mm -hmm. if we don't have someone here to share. So yeah. It looks like oh, so that one does this, get a little close. What's that? Is it the, this was for the subdivision. Yeah. Close but outside of the steep area. Mm -hmm. And the rest is just remaining as is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or it's affixed to that lot. Yeah, just the, okay. just the, the owner will own the lot, but you know, the house is closer to the road. I, yeah. They're just big lots because of the, the gully area way in the back. So these are the, the five on here. Yes. Um, yeah, I would suggest that because we've had other people that, that do tree clearing and stuff like that, I would really suggest that it's communicated to whoever these homeowners are going to be, not to like go clearing in the steep slopes yeah. mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Just make them aware. Make them aware. Yeah. Um, and if they need to do some, you know, trimming out of that ash or whatever, they might want to reach out to the town first. <laughs> and then, you know, they can go about it in the right manner and mm -hmm. nobody's getting upset. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I would definitely leave as much of the treed area back in all of the steep, steep areas as possible. I know this house gets pretty close to where it drops off there. So, I don't know, I can't see what lot it is. I suppose I could blow it up. Is it lot two? What's that? Lot two. Lot two. Yeah, the house is pretty close there, so um, definitely they would want to be. Yeah, it didn't seem that close on the other sketches, but. So. Um, let's see. They have landscaping, they're sky compliant. Other... Gary, did you have any comments on this project? Uh, no. What, what's, the, what's the setback from steep slopes? Ooh. Um. Where's Mike? I don't think there is a setback Mike's, from. Mike's not here tonight. <laughs> there, it's not a, a not a setback. No. Okay. I think there's a setback from steep slopes. It's just a period. You just have to know that you're it's in. A, you can't be on a steep slope. Okay. Yeah. yeah or it's distance to whatever creek stream it would be at the bottom of it. No, well, yeah, they they make that because I believe the the creek ran down through along. So the red line. The property line. Mm -hmm. And is that one? That, that goes all the way to the lake. So they're definitely not going to want to ever clear back that way. So you can see where it runs down through here, too. Mm -hmm. so. Any other comments? Not, not enough for me. Gary, did you have anything else? Uh, no, no. Uh, there is somebody else on the on the call. I 
didn't know if they're involved with this project. A couple of other participants. Okay. Um, Val and Wendy. Val is the one on five and twenty, I think. And Wendy's. Wendy, are you for this project? No, she's not for this one. Um, McMahon who was this one. Okay. Yeah, Wilcox was the other one. Mm -hmm. All right. She must be with uh, Wilcox and Dutch. Okay. Thank you, Gary. I didn't. Um, people can slip in without me me noticing there. Thank you. Um, Still with us? You have to get back in it, right? It looks like I still have four participants. You know, is it shutting down or? That's from before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gary, can you hear us? Looks like he's off. They're all off. Oh, he's back. Yep. We okay, we were having uh, Zoom tell us it was like shutting down. So oh. I just I just needed to make sure you were still there. No <laughs> here. All right. Let's see. Uh, next we have. Uh, Project on five and twenty. Mm -hmm. Valerie, are you here? Yes, I am here. All right. Um, did you want to share, uh, introduce the project? Um. Yeah, it's uh, located at fifty five seventy five five and twenty. Um. We're looking to do a barn dominium on the on the on the property. Well, we're looking first of all to subdivide. Um, it's a property my mother currently owns, and we are subdividing. Um, and Wendy Mahar is our engineer. I think Wendy's on with us as well. I am. Thank you, folks. Did you have anything you wanted to add about the? to introduce the project? Yes, we have, as far as the environmental, um, we have, we are presenting a bioretention for stormwater runoff. Uh, we are developing the project within the existing woodlands slightly. Um, and we've also had DEC confirm and delineate existing wetlands in which we found that the existing wetlands are still within that easement that is granted to the town of Canandaigua. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward for a single family home. Um, we're, we're building up a little bit to accommodate a new septic system, um, which was, all of that has been witnessed by the uh, health department and we are, you know, in the process under review for that. Okay. Um, I had a question. I think, I think in your um, pay data statement, you said it was still being farmed. This property is that correct? It value. Is, yes, it it is for for this year, but the farmer has already been notified that um, that will that he will not be farming. Once the subdivision is done, um, he will not be farming any longer. 
and he's already been notified of that. Okay. I, I just asked because this one is also will be in front of the Ag Committee and they ask questions about uh, who is farming and uh, what types of things they farmed on there. Um, okay. Do, do you know any of that information? He, he farms hay. That's it. Okay. And he's already actually harvested for this year and 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 rolled it up. I don't know what to, the technical term for that is. Um, so he'll be he'll be removing that. I'm I'm assuming by the end of the summer, maybe early fall. But then he is aware that he will not be harvesting any longer. Okay. Does anybody have any comments, questions? No, I mean, just standard, I guess, for the, the tree line, if, you know, are you getting into the tree line, removing trees, we would recommend or at least suggest, you know, some kind of replacements. Um, do, is, it, is it ash or anything like that that needs to come down there anyways, or is it just, do you know that? Considered a hemlock, um, it's not, they're not great. And the, the fact that the wetlands back in the woods as you go into it further, the you know the root structure is not good for some of those trees because it stays pretty wet back there. Um, so it, they're not great. Um, but we were, I'm sure the Wilcox are per, are planning on some trees within the yard, right, Val? For Thank shade. You. Oh yes, we will be planting more trees. We are definitely expecting to plant more trees. Mm -hmm. We uh, like to suggest to people to consider native trees and shrubs wherever possible. I'm sorry, I didn't catch what kind of trees? Native, so the things oh, native. That, yep. that could grow here natively, yeah. Sure, oh no, absolutely, yes. Gary, did you have any comments? Uh, nothing, nothing here. It seems like you guys have done your due diligence and talked to the right folks that needed to be consulted on this. So, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we do also suggest uh, some things like dark sky compliant lighting on the outside of houses. Uh, uh, yeah, we do have that note on the plans. Okay, all right. Yep. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Your time. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like they're staying mostly out of the, the tree line yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So and this one's come back. The <laughs> subdivision last time. Yeah. Now, subdivision last now it's site plan. I was looking for the size site plan. I didn't see it. Um, so this got moved along. It got the approved status mm -hmm. mistakenly. Mm -hmm. So if you, <laughs> it does happen sometimes. Um, so if you see we're up in the top part of this, if it says fulfillment in black, yeah. you can click the application and then it takes you back to before it was approved. Okay. All those files. I didn't know that. Um, and then, so plan. then you can find the, the site plan in here. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't have anything to say other than no, just... our standard comments for this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it was just an open lot. It was. Yeah, and... Septic. It's got houses all around it. It so. mm -hmm. It's a great place to build a house. Mm -hmm. Right in the middle of a forest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Gary, did you have any comments on this one? Uh, nothing. Nothing else. You know, it, it, I mean, it would be nice to be able to go back and, and look at some of these properties a, a year or two later. Uh, again, kind of following up on our recommendations and seeing how things had developed progressed um but i you know that's this manpower to do do those kind of <laughs> business and inspections and it, maybe something it, are, are you volunteering gary <laughs> <laughs> sure <laughs>
got the name tag to, to wear. <laughs> That's right. Although I, I do have to agree on some places that said they were putting in, you know, like a rain garden or something like that. It's like, were they really doing that? You, you kind of have to wonder, but I know there isn't really the manpower at yeah. the town to like go check those things out no. and most of them are just grown-up areas mm -hmm. with whatever was there to see the which will have some value but slow down a little bit but yeah. depends on what gets in there i mean some people are more more excited about being environmental but not a lot of the people that we, yeah. we see I say native landscaping. I just got to complain. Yeah. You might even have those on both sides. It, it is, there might be. Yeah. Um, so I just say it and then it's it's there. It's it's there. Mm -hmm. It's already on their plans. It's mm -hmm. it's already done. Mm -hmm. so that's about it. Unless anybody else has got anything on that one. No. No. Bring on. And that was our last one. Yeah. yeah. Not very daunting this time. No. 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 Not very daunting at all. Uh, town newsletter. Thank you for your article, Gary. You're welcome. I have an article on tips. Oh. So. They're everywhere. <laughs> Unfortunately. And I think I read something or heard something that, like, they figure like half the ticks in New York State have Lyme, and I was like, oh, I believe my it. Gosh. That 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 was kind of a scary thought. <laughs> well, I was just shocked before our last meeting finding out like some of the stuff we dealt with in the South tick wise, like the Lone Star was like here now and a big problem, which was just insane yeah, to me. About the spotted lamb fly too. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. they found one. Well, yeah, they're seeing them closer in. Mm -hmm. What was it? I'm trying to remember. Is it Ron Hills? Mm. My kids know to squash them. Yeah. They know too, huh? But I've, um, I'm in like quite a variety of gardening groups online. And there's people from other parts of the state. They're like sharing this. They're like, what's this? It's oh, like, God. Are, are, you, are you kidding me? I thought everybody knew this because they've been sharing you know, this mm. every place. Right. But, um, so I might put a little something in the newsletter about spotted lanternfly just to remind. Remind. So yeah, we used to have that little picture at the end of it, right? It the is, newsletter. It is still at the end. Okay. So, but I don't know if everybody scrolls all the way to the bottom. <laughs> yeah. It is yeah. quite lengthy sometimes. They just read our articles and then they're done. <laughs> <laughs> we do get a lot of nice click-throughs and uh, so do the history ones. Oh, good. So it's really our articles and like the history ones that I think really help with the readership. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of changed it and it's like, I get like two articles from ECB or history. I'm like, sure, I'll, I'll put them in <laughs> because it, people like that stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to just say it's one, one and done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but, uh, let's see. I will be sending out the newsletter on Monday. So, you know, Monday. Town hall display case. I know Edith just put up a display on fossils. Oh, cool. Um, we had someone come in and ask about it. They came into the development office and asked, and they were asking about one of the things they were like asking about fossilized algae, and they think that they might have some. So <laughs> the, what, That's people, cool. People have been excited. About That's it. nice. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. But so, anybody's got any newsletter ideas for upcoming month? Definitely send them my way. Okay. Uh, be let's see. I don't have the due date for that one memorized, so <laughs> I can't tell you right now what it is. Word business. Let's see. Um, 
I got a letter today from Eric Obenauer. He's resigning from ACB. Oh. And he's got some life things happening, so um, he needs to step away. So it's too bad. Yeah, it, it is. It's and I thanked him for all his contributions. And, uh, if you know of anybody, the search goes on. Search Always, goes on. Yeah. So if you know anybody that would be a good fit for us, definitely have them send me an email or they can okay. reach out to Lindsay, either one of us. Go from there. Mm -hmm. Kind of too bad, but yeah, we just filled the position. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. So uh, membership. Uh, oh, budget. I knew there was another thing. Uh, so I did go to the budget meeting two weeks ago, and we uh, we're going to get the same amount of money as last year. I think it's eighteen hundred dollars. I told them about the, our ideas of doing a green garden, and I know was it Sarah had suggested maybe. Outhouse West, West, they're going to be putting in more, oh. more park area, and she said that would be a great place because it would get a lot of eyes and okay. stuff like that. And Jared had said that uh, we're interested in doing, you know, having different landscaping around the building. We're doing projects like that. It didn't, wouldn't have to like necessarily come out of our budget, but we can contribute to it. Okay. So, so receptive to it, basically. That's yeah. great. Yeah. When does that other phase of that project kick off over at Outhouse? I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. But that Sarah suggested that one. She said uh, it's a pretty large area. That's going to be a large there. area. There'll be some swales and different things like that over there. Okay. And she thought it would be a great place because you'll get like families and different people. That yeah, there's a lot of eyes over there. A lot of eyes and visitors. So. Uh, I thought that was that was a great idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you'll get more eyes than like around here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. You'll definitely get the the younger residents too and stuff. That'll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hey, wherever we can make the inroads. Yeah. Yeah. To get the food trucks over there. We're good to go. <laughs> yep. So, uh, did anybody have any uh, project updates? Not yet. No, don't. Gary? Still working on it. Still working on it. Okay. I'll, I'll report something next month. <laughs> okay. All right. I um, I did get the, it passed along to ordinance, our split lot suggestion. So hopefully they talk about it. Moving on. Mm -hmm. wasn't, wasn't a lot to it. So my guess is they might might dicker over the fact that uh, the right of way is actually included in lot coverage. So, wait, it counts towards it. Can't win. What? The right of way counts towards the developed if area. If it's a private right of way, not if it's oh, okay. a real road. So, oh, like a private road going through something, like yeah. Davidson Landing or something like yeah. that. Or, yeah. So we had, we had just left it in. I'm I'm guessing they might have a lot of discussion about that. Mm -hmm. But uh, it just seems like it would free up things and simplify things overall, though, just to be able to do that. Yeah. So I think what I might do is I might look for um, there was a quorum thing that said you have to put in stormwater management. Of some sort, it's unspecified. It's really up to like the engineer you're working with if you have new construction of any kind. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's a, a great mm -hmm. thing. Uh, so that makes people like think about where is your roof run, runoff going to and mm -hmm. how to mitigate it. So I like I like that idea. So I might dig that out. Um, I also like the one that from Victor. Yeah. 
with the native 70% native plants in non residential construction. Yeah. So I like that. Well, they had in their code, they have a defined percentage. They do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They have a de uh, defined percentage, but it wasn't for residential. Okay. It was non residential. I'll have to look at that just to see how they go about defining what that 70% is. I don't know if they plant were... count or area or. I, I don't think they went into that. Okay. I think it was pretty, it just said 70%. It's a lot more nebulous. <laughs> just 70%. 70%. No, it'd be great to be able to offer that to uh, the developers when they, because that, that's the other question that keeps on coming back is like, what do you want to see? Like, like what is it? If that's our recommendation, what does it entail? Mm -hmm. Well, we could always specify it more. We could leave that for the planning board right. to, you know, say what the 70% is. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I think that that would be great, you know. I mean, not like we have a lot of commercial space and things like that. Right. I thought it was just general. I didn't realize it was just a commercial thing. Yeah, that was, um, I believe if I'm remembering correctly, it, it said it was non-residential. Mm -hmm. But that would also mean parks, like our public spaces. Okay. So that would mean- that, park, park. that would give us a goal though, like of, you know, leading by example of like converting our current parks and stuff over yeah. if we can. So, but, that was, um, so it would be, yeah, all those <laughs> other spaces like that. Well, I figured I'd start on the pollinated pathway stuff when it gets cold. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not doing things outside. <laughs> but I think that was about it. Did anybody have anything else? Gary? No. Nice meeting. Thank you. <laughs> Lot shorter than last time. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. I do thank everyone for all the all the suggestions and and uh, stuff last time. I know it was they were very challenging. It's good. We need them once in a while. What's it? So we need those once in a while. It keeps us sharp. Absolutely. I guess if we're all done, I just need a motion to adjourn. I'll make the motion. Perfect. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you so much. We'll be, so long. Thank we'll be 